Hello and welcome back. In the previous video, we created an Android app with the help of MIT App Inventor for controlling the components or the devices connected to our Arduino board via Bluetooth. In this video, we will use that application and we will write the code for our Arduino board and we will uh, control the components, say LED, that we connect to our Arduino board via Bluetooth with the help of that application that we have created in the previous video. So without wasting time, let's, can, let's start with writing the code. So we are having only two uh, RX and TX pin on our Arduino board. And when, once we connect our Bluetooth module with the RX and the TX pin of our Arduino board, and just uh, user, we must know one thing that we are having the six pin our, on our Arduino board, sorry, uh, six pins on our Bluetooth module, that is state pin, enable pin, VCC, ground, RX and TX. Uh, among the six pins, we are only using the four pins, that is VCC and the ground. The use of this VCC and the ground to, is to just power up your Bluetooth module. And RX and TX pin are just the receiver and the transmitter pins of our Bluetooth module, Bluetooth module, which are need to be connected in the reverse order. That means RX with the TX and the TX with the RX uh, with the Arduino. And uh, but if you if you for, if you notice one thing that Arduino is having only two TX and RX pins. If you directly if you connect your um, Bluetooth with the RX and the TX and try to upload the code with your in your uh, apply, try to upload the code to your Arduino board, this will show an error that serial port is not available or the uh, particular com is busy. That means the, that Arduino board or Arduino RX and TX are communicating with the Bluetooth. They are not available to read the data that is coming from your laptop. So for this, I will be using a software serial library. For, uh, for declaring so software serial library. The purpose of this library is uh, with the help of this library, software serial library, you can choose any Arduino pin, digital pin, any um, digital pins of Arduino as your RX and the TX pin. It's not necessary that the pin that I that I define you you are you choose also the you also chose the pin that I define in my code. You can choose the other pins and uh, connect your RX and TX with that particular pins. Okay, start writing the code. Okay. I have connected. I'm assuming that I have connected my uh, LED to pin number 13. First of all, I need to add the library over here. So hash include hash include software serial dot h. So this is the library for the for uh, for me to uh, declare the other pins as my uh, RX and the TX pin. So I need to create and I need to create an object that I will refer that I use for this uh, my library so software serial my serial and uh, software serial my serial and the pin serial the first pin is going to be the uh, rx pin and second pin is going to be the tx pin so in my case I'm declaring two as my receiver pin rx pin and pin number three as my tx pin and for for the um, simplicity, I'm just saying that my first pin is the RX pin and second pin is the uh, TX pin. So this is for just to uh, remember the pin configuration or just the to remember which pin is my RX and the TX pin. Now int LED equal to 13. So this is my LED or inbuilt LED which is connected to my pin number 13. So in the void setup, void in the void setup, I need to uh, start the communication for this uh, second port, for second uh, serial port of my Arduino that I have just created. So for this, I have to write uh, my serial dot begin. My serial dot begin. The bird rate is same as the serial dot begin. And you also, if I, if you want to display the things or the message on your serial monitor over here. You and you have to just start the serial communication again. So serial S E R I serial dot B E G I N begin and uh, nine six double zero. So this is your bad rate. Now I just I have to declare my uh, pin number thirteen, which is the LED as the output pin. O U T out P U T put. So this is my LED as the output pin. In the initial stage, I I want to I want this this LED must be in the off condition. So for this, I have to write the digital uh, write command and uh, LED comma low. So this will turn off my LED. Now in the void setup, 
void loop sorry this loop section will repeat it, itself again and again until you power off your arduino uno to start the to start listening data from your mobile phone or the bluetooth application you have to just start or activate this serial port that you have just created okay so for this there is a command first of all you have to write the name of your port which is my serial in my case so dot listen l i s t e n listen so this function will initiate or activate your serial port or this virtual port that you have just created okay to receive the data so once you have activated this okay i'm just once you have activated this i'm using the while loop just use use the while loop and just like we are we were using serial dot available in this case the function will be like my serial dot available okay so my serial dot a a v a i l a b l e my serial dot available if the data is available here where it is if the data is available i just need to declare the two more variables here so one is character value and another is string str equal to this will be empty string okay so the so the value will be value equal to my serial dot read my serial dot read so this will read the character one by one the str will be plus equal to value and just add a delay time over here delay time of 50 milliseconds 50 milliseconds okay now once this will read the character one by one from the serial port from my from this virtual serial port that we have just created over here now all these characters will be get combined into this are stored in this uh, string string str one by one and now after doing this and once the uh, data is has stopped coming from my device or the my mobile phone we will just look for this okay we will use the if condition if okay just check for the length of your this string if if str dot length is greater than zero okay if this condition is get satisfied go down and ch uh, check for the uh, data which is stored in your string so if if str equal equal to on so if str equal equal to on we will print a message on our serial monitor that le turn on so serial str serial dot print ln led t u r and it turned on and we will turn on the LED for this digital write LED comma LED comma hi okay so this thing and uh, this section of code will turn on your LED if the message is on just copy and paste this code copy and paste this code over here and just put an S over here else if Just change the data from on to off and change the message LED turned on to LED turned off and from high to low. Okay. After doing this, we have to erase the value of this. I will just this empty this uh, string over here. So we have to write str equal to. So now, after clearing this, when you don't, when you, uh, when you are not pressing any button on your uh, mobile phone. This string will not receive anything. Once it is cleared, this will go back over here. This will uh, activate. Th this will activate my serial port. And since the data is not coming, so this section will not repeat itself. This will check for the length. If uh, str dot length equal to zero. In the previous case, when the data was coming and stored in this str, the length was actually zero. But here we cleared all the value of our str variable now it's empty and the length is less than zero so this condition is not satisfied and if this is not satisfied so this will this section will not repeat or uh, this will not the code will not enter in this section this will just enter uh, from this while loop skip all the, uh, skip all the things from here uh, to here and just repeat this uh, empty section okay so just compile this code 
give a name to it for example say uh, mit3 this is the name of our application okay. check for the errors okay my serial was not declared here so what is the problem here s e r i a l so it's s e r i a l <clears throat> now as you can see that our code is free from the errors now it's time to upload this code in the arduino ide sorry arduino board and check for the circuit so let's open our Proteus software to create the circuit and we will test the circuit over the real hardware. Okay, now open the Proteus. test the circuit over the uh, protest we will be testing this circuit in the real hardware so let's begin doing the hardware part <laughs> 